As a Pan-Africanist, what do you think are the implications of this initiative that CODA is implementing on vaccine research, development and manufacturing in Africa? What we want on the continent is continental health security. And you can't achieve continental health security unless all Africans have access to vaccines and vaccination. So this program is a great program because it seeks to bring about equitable and universal access to vaccines and vaccination on the continent. So it is a very fortuitous program. Secondly, you cannot achieve research and development and manufacturing of vaccines in small countries, in fragmented countries. We need economies of scale. ECOWAS, SADAC, East African Community, Maghrib region, the African continent working together. 1.3 billion Africans, collective GDP, 2.3 trillion dollars. So this initiative allows Africans to work together, unlock economies of scale, and be able to do research and development, do the manufacturing of vaccines, so that the African is able to have access to vaccines and vaccination. So from a Pan-Africanist point of view, this is an excellent program as it seeks to ensure that Africans are working together in pursuit of continental health security. But more importantly, Africans are working together to ensure that this pandemic, in particular uh, COVID-19, is addressed across the continent. But even if we don't do enough work now for COVID-19, we should be ready for future pandemics. We should be ready for other diseases, sickle cell anemia, malaria, HIV AIDS. The African must work together to ensure that we have continental health security. Health security implies national security. Without continental health security, there's no continental security. Thank you. So what value do you think uh, private research and academic institutions uh, will add uh, to the initiative? The research and development has to be done by our academic institutions, our research institution. The manufacturing of vaccines must be done by our private sector. Even the investment in R&D must come from the private sector. So the private sector has to be at the center of this initiative. How? By investing in R&D, by investing in manufacturing, by also investing, investing in the logistics, in supply chain management, where we are now saying we have the vaccines how do we get them into the arms of the people so the entire activity around equitable access to vaccines has to be private sector driven the money from the private sector the money from philanthropists we must make sure that the africans are the key funders of this program he or she who pays the piper calls the tune we do not want to be dependent on foreign money. We do not want to be dependent on foreign investors. We want the African governments, in particular the African private sector, to be the key financial engine behind the initiative. And our universities, our research institutions must do the R&D, must do the manufacturing of these vaccines. In addition to that, we want the Africans in the diaspora the Africans in the Caribbean, the Africans in America, the Africans in South America, to be part of this initiative as a Pan-African perspective to say, let us look for expertise from Africans who are not resident on the continent. But the driver, the engine has to be our academic institutions and the private sector. Thank you. You have mentioned the private sector. Do you think the African private sector is prepared to, to, to shoulder this responsibility? And if not, what can they do to, to make this happen? This is where we need to do advocacy on the business case. When you say vaccine R&D, when you say vaccine manufacturing, we're not just talking about health, we're talking business.
You can imagine the amount of money Pfizer is making, Moderna is making, Johnson Johnson is making, Sinopharm, Sinovac, Sputnik. These big pharmaceutical companies are making billions and billions of dollars from vaccines. So there are two dimensions to vaccines. There's the health aspect and the business aspect. So we need to do advocacy and communication to enlighten the African businessman and woman, to enlighten the African private sector that there is money to be made in R&D of vaccines. There is money to be made in the manufacturing of vaccines. There is money to be made in the distribution, procurement, and supply chain management of vaccination. Once the business case is made, then the private player will come in and invest 